Now at noon, an emotional plea for answers about a man shot and killed by Titusville police. It has been a month since the shooting, but a big question still remains unanswered. The family wants to know if that officer engaged the wrong person when responding to a domestic violence call. News 6's James Barvero was at a large rally with the family this morning and joins us live now from the police department. We're waiting to hear if investigators have a response, James. We just got it, Bridget. So the chief of police here in Titusville says police will release all findings in this investigation, including body camera video, which police says captured this altercation, but only when the FDLE investigation concludes. So until then, the family of James Lowry and their attorney say they are suing the city for holding that information. The rally was this morning at the Titusville courthouse. The 40 year old's family members who were present included his mother and his sister. Attorneys Benjamin Crump and Natalie Jackson, they are saying that the police may have identified the wrong person, but police in that new video response, they respond that they stand by their initial response that the Sunday night after Christmas, a Titusville police officer who responded identified a suspect matching the description by a domestic violence call. And then that person ran away from the officer before getting in a fight with the officer. And that's when police say the officer pulled the trigger, killing James Lowry. Listen to the emotional sister. My brother was everything to us. Everything. And for y'all to kill him, not that he died, he was killed. We have the entire press conference, including comments from Ben Crump and Natalie Jackson right now on ClickOrlando.com and also on our later editions of News 6. Bridget, we will get into more of that police response about the shooting death of James Lowry and where things go next. Live in Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.